What can Canada do to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement? This video is brought to you by the University of Alberta chapter of NAYGN. When you're charging your phone, have you ever wondered where your electricity comes from? Nuclear energy is an efficient and economical way to provide this type of power. It is divided into two types, fission and fusion. Today we will take a look at fission. Fission is a process that happens on the subatomic scale. Yes, we're talking about neutrons here. When free-floating neutrons hit a uranium-235 isotope, more neutrons get knocked off. This interaction releases a great deal of heat, and so starts the chain reaction. With more neutrons colliding with uranium isotopes, the surroundings get hotter and hotter. Water is turned into water vapor, just like boiling water, and a turbine rotates as a result. This is fission. However, fission can't just happen anywhere. Only in the containment of a nuclear reactor can this exothermic reaction take place. With the electricity generated, we can do anything from charging our devices to powering our urban centers. Why is nuclear considered the energy pot of gold? Let's start off with what makes the world go round, money. Nuclear energy is extremely cost effective and it will open up the possibility of a lot of jobs which is beneficial for the economy. Investing in a can-do reactor now while the market is very small and niche would be extremely profitable for stakeholders who want an advantage in a relatively new and uncompetitive market. Nuclear energy is one of the most environmentally friendly energy sources around, requiring a very small amount of the mining, processing and infrastructure when compared to traditional energy sources. Canada is also one of the many countries that signed the Paris Agreement, meaning we have committed to help reduce the effects of global warming by 2030. With 2030 just 10 years away, expanding the fleet of canned reactors which have very low carbon outputs would be a huge step in the right direction. There is incredible energy potential in nuclear reactors, specifically the Kandu reactor. One Kandu reactor is capable of producing over 31 million megawatt hours of energy annually. This is enough energy to power up to 2.5 million households. From Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, we can see that nuclear energy is very dense. We only need a nickel of fuel to power a town for an entire year. It goes without saying that's a lot of energy. Increasing the number of Kandu reactors in Canada will upscale energy generation with minimal environmental effects. Developed in Canada, Kandu is a fission reactor and is currently being used in various countries to generate electricity. Kandu stands for Canada Deuterium Uranium. This reflects the key role of deuterium, which acts as the reactor's neutron moderator, a unique trait of the Kandu. Kandu reactors also differ from other reactors in their source of fuel, using natural uranium instead of enriched uranium. Kandu is the most efficient of all reactors in using uranium. It uses about 15% less uranium than a pressurized water reactor for each megawatt of electricity produced. So, how can you help make CANDU reactors a reality in Canada? Join us in signing this petition to urge the Government of Canada to expand and maintain the fleet of CANDU reactor. Let's revolutionize energy. Thank you for your time. On February 10th, the House of Commons will decide whether to support CANDU reactors. Please sign the petition by February 10th and share this with your friends and family. This video has been brought to you by NAYGN.